Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to our channel. Today's reaction video is going to be called 12 Rules for, for Women in the Mormon Church. Uh, I've had a, a Mormon Bible. What is it called, the Bible? I don't know. But um, I started reading through it, and I was like, bro, what is this? It was funny. But the founder is Joseph Smith, obviously. All I know is that they can't drink coffee, and they have to wear jean skirts. I don't know. So let's go ahead and get into it. 12 Rules for Women in the Mormon Church 1. Obey your husband. Mormons believe men lead families. I think that's in every religion. That's in Islam, that's in Christianity, that's in Judaism, maybe Hinduism. Like Christ leads the church, women are taught to obey their husbands. The husband leads the family. The wife supports the husband in all matters. Two. How is that unique, though? How is that unique? That's a part of almost every religion. Pray to the Mormon God. The Mormon God is a man, a heavenly father. Mormons. Yeah, now we're starting to get into uh, paganism. Also believe in a heavenly mother, but it is considered inappropriate to pray to her. She is rarely mentioned. No church lessons are devoted to her. Three. Focus on motherhood. Bearing and raising children is the main purpose of a Mormon woman's life. They are encouraged to have large families. Mormons believe life starts at conception. They consider it sacred from that point onward. 4. Maintain modesty. Mormon women dress okay. and act modestly. They avoid short skirts, low tops, and loud laughter. Modesty includes both thoughts and actions. Devout Mormons wear temple garments on a daily basis. They're made of white what? material, which symbolizes purity. Temple garments resemble a t-shirt and shorts, but they carry sacred Mormon symbols. They can well, only was? be purchased at church-owned stores. Of course, they have to run some type of business. Hey, you have to wear these garments, but you can only buy them from this, from this church. If you don't buy them from this church, you're no longer a Mormon because you're buying from another church or you're buying from another place and you're giving them money and you're not giving us money. Mormons can't talk about them or hang them up outside to dry. Five, avoid coffee and tea. I knew it. I knew it. The Mormon health code is known as a word of wisdom. It prohibits coffee, tea, alcohol, and tobacco. Women and men must avoid these substances. The reason... But again, I understand the alcohol and tobacco and stuff like that. That's not a unique thing to Mormonism. Like I said earlier, it's a part of every other religion that you can think of. But coffee and tea, though? I don't know. ...is a mystery. Six, serve, but never lead. Mormon women are encouraged to take on roles within the church. They teach children, do charity work, and support programs. Yet they cannot hold the priesthood. We well, hold on. This is the, for the women only. So are, are the men allowed to drink coffee and tea? Or most leadership positions. Seven, avoid feminist attitudes. Mormon women are allowed to get an education, but they must avoid non-traditional ideologies. Feminist views. No, I, I agree with this. Feminism is, is literally destroying this society. They're destroying traditional women values. And I think, again, every religion should be against feminism. Because feminism actually works against women, to be honest. It doesn't favor them in any way. Few points. Criticize Mormonism's patriarchy. Church leaders warn against secular feminism. They say it focuses too much on power and rights over God-given roles. Facts. Participation in feminist rallies, marches, or groups is discouraged. 8. Focus on eternal marriage. Mormon doctrine says marriage is eternal. Women are taught their most important roles are wife and mother. Getting sealed Facts. in the temple is crucial. It allows the family to be together forever in heaven. They believe God only exalts those who obey his law. Divorce severs the sacred ceiling. 
so it's heavily discouraged. Exceptions are abuse or unfaithfulness. Okay, it makes Nine, sense. Maintain purity before marriage. Again, that's every religion. You're not supposed to be out there fornicating, committing uh, uh, sexual acts before marriage. Mormon women are taught to stay pure before marriage. This means no sex, passionate kissing or touching. Immodest relationships can stop you from entering the temple. 10. Seek perfection. Mormon women feel pressure to be perfect in everything. As a wife, mom, homemaker, church member, etc. Not being perfect is seen as a personal failure. Self-care is less important than service and family duties. 11. Pay tithing. Mormons believe in giving 10% of their income to the church. Damn! 10%? Hell no. Nah. Stay-at-home moms are encouraged to pay tithing on any money they earn, but the payment itself operates on an honor system. 12. Never use foul language. Mormons are careful to avoid both profanity and... Bruh. Again, like, well, how is this unique? Swearing. How is this unique? Most of the things that they mentioned is part of every other religion in the world. So I don't understand how... Yeah, I don't understand. Anyways, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys again in the next video.